The following video shows how to create a button for Silverlight in Microsoft Expression 3. This file will be the base for multiple movies such as creating gradients, importing graphics, creating behaviors, but in this movie we will simply create a button, modify its normal, mouse over, and press states, and add some animation, animation effects between those states. So let's begin. What we want to do is change this red end call button which is right now just simply a path with a gradient. There's really not much the user can do with this. So we will want to select tools, make into control, select button. You can leave the default name for now. And this document, and select OK. And just by doing that, uh, in the States panel, we now have normal, mouse over, and pressed. And as soon as we click it, recording begins. And each one of those states are currently the same. So what we want to do is modify the mouse over and pressed states so the user can actually see something visually happening. So let's select mouse over. Select that path, and we'll simply make the gradient a little bit more pronounced. Select the pressed. And that looks about right. So let's look it over. That's the normal. That's the mouse over, and that's the press. Looks good. So I guess we could leave it like that right now, and it would just have these rollover states and press states, but it really wouldn't have this nice little uh, transition. And you can do that by simply adding, clicking on this Add Transition. What you want to do is hit this asterisk to Normal, and modify the time to 0 0.5 it seems like, like that's a nice time to actually leave it and we'll go to mouse over do the same the same thing for the press uh, let's go to mouse over add in the time let's go to press and you really don't want to point two seems to be about the right time for me and there's one more thing you want to do which is if you click here there's a nice easing function that opens up a easing function panel and you want been playing with this I like the cubic in for the normal the cubic out for the mouse over and I'll leave the press that way okay let's turn this off let's run it and there goes the mouse over and there goes the press so this concludes this movie and creating buttons for Silverlight and Microsoft Plan 3. I look forward to any questions or comments you may have. Thanks.